here today. And I have a very special recipe for us to, to imbibe on today. I have the, the chicken a la bourguignon. I know everyone would love to know how to make it. I have a nice 15 pound pullet here. <laughs> very nice. And we're going to do things the good old Yankee way first in our French cuisine. And there it is. Take the, the head and the neck of the chicken and just give it a good yank. <laughs> for next week's recipe. <laughs> we have a nice chicken here, very nicely defenestrated and plucked, and we're going to begin to add a few things. I, I have a nice, nice jar of wheat germ here <laughs> to satisfy the health food contingent. <laughs> I'm just going to work that into all the nooks and crannies of the chicken. Yes, there's nothing nicer than a crackly chicken. <laughs> We have our bourgundy, our bourguignon, and a very good, very, very good. Very nice, and we're going to do something with that later on. <laughs> we have our, our chicken prepared, we're going to actually begin to add a little stuffing. And you remember last week when we were doing the suckling pig? <laughs> 400 degrees centigrade, the eyes began to roll down the cheeks of the pig. Well, I asked you to save the aqueous humor of the pig, and here it is, a very nice gelatin. We can begin to add a little bit of garlic and basil and sprinkle parsley in there. Just mix it right up. And instead of slicing the chicken open, why just take our stuffing and <laughs> <laughs> the place to raise the stones of the, of the French cuisine is a nice pot of lard I have here. A piping pot. I'm just going to pour that right over the chicken and over the cutting board. <laughs> we'll just roll our chicken in that. Just smear it right in there. Mm. Very nice. And when we're ready, I just let it riff. <laughs> it raises and bruises the chicken so that the juices begin to flow in it. <laughs> Very nice. That's quite enough. Yeah. Well, we're ready to truss our chicken now, and I'm going to be using our XYZ pattern. <laughs> Somebody threw a spike through my kitchen window. <laughs> well, I thought, now what use can I put this spike in my kitchen? And it came to me. Just ran it right into the chicken. <laughs> very, very nice. Very good. Pop it in there. It's about 400 degrees. Well, what goes very nicely with chicken on a bourguignon is fresh strawberries, and I have a, a tray of strawberries here. I'm just going to pop them in the air. <laughs> you have to be very careful when cooking with lard. <laughs> just pop them in the air, and what a few fall, and so it's quite all right. <laughs> the bottoms are nicely bruised, you see, and the juices are beginning to flow. <laughs> Chicken 
now. <laughs> Very nice. We can, now we can have the burgundy. The burgundy. <laughs> The alcohol, my, my nephew <laughs> gave me a Bunsen burner a couple of weeks ago from his chemistry course, and I thought, well, I can use that in my kitchen too. I'm just going to. There we go. Just fire it off. <laughs> Child's wishing. 